What, that someone was trying to make somebody else feel sorry for them? Like, that's, that's kind of what that reminds me of a little bit. It's just like, you know what, I, like, I just want you to come over. I just wanted to come over and sip your cup, because, sip your water, because, you know, I was thirsty and shit. You know, it's like, I wanted you to give me sympathy because, like, you know, I, I, I felt bad. Over these secrets that got exposed without somebody coming up. It's like somebody wanted someone else to feel bad for the wrong that they did. Huh. The hangman down here. The truth shall set you free. Let the bird fly. That you flopped your fish. Hmm. Truth is, someone flopped their feelings. Aw. See, that makes me feel a little bad. I'll drop one more for you. Maybe some good news will come out for you, Queer. Ah, uh, well, looks like you're on the run for some new, um, booty. Jumping over Sphinx, trying to do tricks for whatever. Okay, so, like, what's the best thing to come out for you? You know, other than the fucking tower, because, you know, that was just right there. That's nice. I didn't even try to shuffle. That's always a good sign. All right, so, three cards, and then we're gun done, gun. We're done, guys, okay? Because I've already said enough shit. Yeah, you're still bitter. Oh, uh, okay. You didn't quit that shit. Like, you know, cut that shit out. Walk away from it and try to make yourself happy. Okay, like you already had the emperor, empress. My apologies. Um, already, you're still pretty bitter about how things ended, I feel like. Hmm. Dude, I don't know, man. Like, Queerant? I feel like... You're expecting some vendetta to be paid. Like, you want someone to beg, you know? But you need to walk away from that energy. Like, that's not good for you anyway. I don't feel like any of this energy is good for you, honestly. Like, it's almost obsessive. Is that you? That's... Where'd you, oh, yeah, you're in the shower. I gotta water my cat in a minute. But yeah, it's like, um, this isn't really good energy for you. Like, you know... This is almost obsessive, like on the border, if not more, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna let you know, because, you know, I love you, uh, in a sense, like, I, I, like, I am kind of concerned, because this is just, like, this is not a healthy energy for you, um, this could actually, like, hurt you in the long run if you keep this shit up. Like, you know, I know the timelines are sealed or whatever, but that doesn't mean you can't work to, like, make the shit, um, better for you. Like, if stuff it doesn't go the way that you thought it would be planned, go another fucking route. Like, there's nothing stopping you. But it's not healthy to hang on to somebody who you're not even willing to, um, cater to in some sense in order to even get a hug. You know? Like, when you love people, you give them what you want. Or what they want. Or what they need, more or less. Like, not even anything that they want. Just something that they need. Uh, if you don't do that, then how are they supposed to know that you appreciate them at all? Like, that's the thing. And, and I feel like, in a sense, you almost feel yourself that, you're, that you weren't appreciated by this person, but I feel that's almost projection as well. Because you saw it fucking coming. You know, I, like, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna let you live that down. Because you saw it coming. Uh, already. Like, you can't have a surprise look on your face when it's just like, oh, I, w I was right, you know? Like, well, yeah, I mean, like, you were right, because you kind of controlled the events, in a sense. Uh, you, like you, like you, you knew this shit was coming because you created these events. 
all the actions you've possibly taken in this have driven it in a certain way. That's how life's a game. You know, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% of how you deal with it or how you react to it. And this is easily a repeated cycle. So try to keep that in mind, you know? Try to think of what's best for you, because I really think that walking away from whatever this is, is a lot more healthier. It's not like you can't come back to it in a different timeline. Hell, maybe even a different lifetime. It really doesn't matter. Um, what matters is, is you saw it coming, so you know how to avoid it next time. Right? Right. Everybody, that's the end of the reading. I will see you later. And stick around. I'm very happy. If not, oh well. But for any who resonate, please take this into consideration. Um, I don't think you'll get your person back if that's what you're worried about, more or less. Um, but it's not like you—it's not like either of you, not just you, but either of you created the um, energy that was good, or whatever it was that would take this relationship to be. Of significance for both of you it's not like both of you really fed into it the way that you needed it to be so it's not just on you you know but hanging on to this won't help you just get away from it before it sucks you in you don't want to be in the swamp believe me the swamp is not a good place to go the swamp is where things go to die okay that's why it's called the Swamp of Sadness. Think of Atreyu. Think of Artax. Okay, I'll see you guys later. I love your faces. Bye-byes.